We're coming up on 654. Now for your news to go. Our reporters have been giving you a firsthand look at storm damage this morning. Let's start with Candace Hare. She is live in Parma Heights. Danita, we're seeing extensive damage here in Parma Heights. You can see some trees have come down. Some power lines have come down with that. We have road closures as well. This is Fernhurst Avenue. This section of road is closed. We also know that some roads in the area are closed due to high water as well. So you want to keep an eye on that as you're making your commute this morning to work. I do know that Parma Heights police, they have said that Parma Heights services are working under a state of emergency in order to attempt to get everything fixed as quickly as possible, get the debris out of the road and get these roads open back up so that people can continue to go on about their day. We've seen a number of people who have come through this area. Some of them have even told me that they didn't know the roads are as bad as they are at this point in time. So again, just something to keep in, in mind, excuse me, as you move forward for your commute this morning. Back to you. Yeah, Candace, uh, you're seeing a lot of damage there in Parma Heights, seeing damage here in Brook Park as well. We're at the rec center. We're just to my right. Oh, over on the baseball field, you can see uh, the bleachers have been blown over onto the field and rolled over. And then if you look just to my left shoulder over this direction, you're seeing what is left now of just a part of the roof that was blown off of the rec center. The sheet metal blown into the parking lot here. It is a miracle that nobody was hurt in all this yesterday because of the damage that happened here. All right, thank you, David. And now let's head to Lorraine County with a live look from Avon Lake. This is on Cherry Street. You can see a tree fell on this home during yesterday's storms. The side of the house, gone, just gone. Right now in Lorraine County, there are just over 4,400 people without power. And like we've been saying all morning, this is all making for a messy commute. We have downed power lines, trees, standing water, road closures all across in Northeast Ohio. Please do be careful. Turn around. Don't drown. I do want to point out some things outside of the weather impacts. So this crash on the turnpike here westbound near exit one, that is Ohio 10. This has been persisting. If the turnpike is part of your commute, do be aware of that. I'm also seeing a stalled vehicle here at 110th Street and Lorraine Avenue. Be aware of that. But otherwise, I mean, too many to count really with road closure. We're seeing a number in Rocky River, Hilliard Boulevard, Worcester Road. That's kind of near the Whole Foods there. Like Candace was saying, Parma Heights, Parma hit hard here. Ridgewood Drive, State Road, Fernhill. We know this one in particular, a heavily trafficked area that's near the UH and the fire station as well. And then if we head to the east side, standing water still. The theme continues, Gates Mills. Please do be careful. And again, if the lights are out near you, come to a full stop. Do not blow through those intersections. Be safe for yourself and other drivers. Matt. Isabel, great advice. Thanks for staying on it this morning. Just allow some extra time. Here are your latest power outages. This is when the, within the last minute now. These are updated. Cuyahoga County getting worse. I think a lot of people reporting the power outages this morning. 38% of the county without power. 63% of Geauga County residents that have electricity through First Energy are without power. Lake County, similar situation. We've got a beautiful day today. Low humidity, decreasing clouds. Tomorrow we have more pop-ups as we heat back up again. But this sets up a beautiful weekend with low humidity and highs in the mid 70s. Yeah. You said yesterday we had to get through yesterday, yeah. but we would love the weekend. And I really don't, yeah, we didn't have any idea of how much we we're going to get through right. yesterday. Right, for sure. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us this morning on Go. Have a great Wednesday. We'll see you again tomorrow morning on Go.